Hi, Ender Ander. We're in the lovely West Village of New York City, about to see... How to make friends. And then kill them. Very provocative title. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree, Andrew? I do agree, Andrew. Here's a flyer. Mm -hmm. It looks like something from a Saturday Night Live skit, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's a Rattlestick Theater. We've never been disappointed with the Rattlestick guys. They do really an interesting, provocative stuff. Off-Broadway, downtown, black box, small theater. From what we've gleaned from the press release, which we read, it's yes. about two sisters and they have an alcoholic mother, mm -hmm. and it forces them to have a special bonding, almost okay. incestuous. Maybe that's not the right word, but they have a very close, close bonding the very close in a relationship. Way. Then they find a third person, a wallflower of a girl, mm -hmm. and they bring her into the fold and make her part of this um, cauldron of dysfunctional yeah well something really bad happens and they they all have to reevaluate their relationship so they want to continue on this tricycle of a bad relationship or do they want to branch out on a unicycle a tandem bike we'll, we'll see, you. see you after the show first off this is not saturday night live no by but, any stretch of but the you imagination. know who i was reminded of who uh, that classic SNL character, uh, Mary Catherine Gallagher. She's the um, Catholic schoolgirl that's kind of hyperactive and freaks out all the time. If David Lynch directed a screenplay written by John Waters about two out. psychotic yeah. Mary Catherine Gallagher. It's also Great Gardens. It has that sort of like, oh my God, that Great right. Gardens aspect. The obsessive, uh, what, what's the word when two people um, do everything together? And they're kind of crazy. Tell me about and they it. Enable each other. Two codependent. Sis two sisters, codependent. They meet a new friend. They all switch roles. One being dominant, and sometimes one being a possessive, it's one very being needy. Circular, like a, a, a triangle that goes around and around and around and you know around. What? The play sort of focuses on the dysfunctional aspects of being in a family. It gets at some universal truths in a very silly way. Unlike a lot of narratives that treat their subjects in a very melodramatic and surreal way, this becomes more real the longer you watch it. At first, it's, it's very funny. It's like a John Waters movie. It's very, very funny, but then it slowly descends into this dark place, Grey Gardens, obsessive destruction. The people get so shitty to each other. I don't other relate to any of these people. That I'm just like, you know what? I uh, The first half of the show is the funniest 45 minutes that you'll see on stage about dysfunctional sapphic codependence. But the thing is, nobody changes nobody grows as a yes. person you they, think they're gonna grow you but think then they, they're gonna but they don't they, i get that that's the point but you know what i don't have time in my life to like sit around and be told that things are pointless definitely entertaining but ultimately not moving you never get invested in the characters because they're so they're such bags of human garbage to begin with they never progress so i guess that's two yellow lights for how to make friends and then kill them at the rattlestick playwrights theater